Welcome back all of you, Nana here. And in this video, we are going to see about how to remove an entry called request non-catalog items on the more task of the purchase requisition. Actually, this is one of the requirement of a student actually. So let us now go there and then have a look at it. So in this place, if you shop, fine, if you go there, if you click on the more task, you are having the request non-catalog item. So their company says that what happens, only inventory items which is there in the catalog must be purchased. This should not be even purchased at all. Right? You should not. You should not have this entry at all. So we are going to the, so the more task we are having four lines now. No? So I'm going to make it as three lines by hiding this now. Right? Request non-catalog items. I'm going to hide now. So for which what happens? We go there. <clears throat> I will not click on the home icon. This by page customization we can very well do it now. I will not go to the tools and then by which what happens? We'll be having a configuration. Click on the configuration and then here we will now go to the sandboxes. Click on the sandbox. Let us now create a sandbox now. So let us now create a sandbox now. Fine. Go there. Click on create now. Click on create. You must enter a name. Okay, fine. So here, what I want to say, what I want to say, ESB. Okay, fine. Sandbox one, two, three. I'm now creating it. I'm going on. I will now enable the page composer. And then I will now give a click on create and create and enter. Fine. New name I have given. So click on the create and enter by which what I want to are now entering into the sandbox. And then you will now find a yellow strip in the top now. <clears throat> and yellow strip will be coming on the top now. Right? So now open up your page and then customize it. Now. The page customization. Mm -hmm. I will now go to the procurement. I will now go to the procurement. I open up the purchase requisition now. Right? So <clears throat> this page, I have to customize it. I have to customize this page now. So what I do is I'm not going to customize this page. So I will now go there, click on it. The yellow strip is already there. I will now go to the edit pages. So click on the edit pages. I am now editing it actually. On the edit pages. Now you you are you click on the structure actually. After edit page, what happens? You click on the structure. We are now going to edit the structure actually. And then there is a very thick line coming on the bottom. Fine. You click on it and then drag it. Drag it. And the thick line is not drag. Now click on the more task where you are going to customize it. Fine. Click on the more task. Fine. Click on edit. So you can now see that it will be going to the more task. So the second entry is the request non-catalog item, and then this is in a what was in a is in a white color actually. It must be in a gray color actually. So you click on it, request non-catalog item, and click on the edit on the left hand side. So click on the edit on the left hand side, and then here what happens is remove the visibility that is more than sufficient. Visible is now removed now. So click on apply and then click on OK by which what happens the customization is now complete. And if you go to the second line, you can now see this is also what happens in a gray color only. That's it. The customization is now complete now. Fine. So the request non catalog item. Fine. So in the top, whatever the right hand side top, click on the close now. And click on the close. And go there. Now is a four step process to publish it actually. It's a four step process to complete it. Go there. So close it now. Fine. It's a four step process. So click on the name and then click on publish. This is step number one. Fine. Name and then step number one is publish. Now the step number two is what? Click on yes now. Step number two is yes. <clears throat> and then the third step is what? Again, click on publish. <clears throat> so again, click on publish. That is the third step now. Find the right hand side, publish, and then click on yes. Is the fourth step. So by which what happens? The yellow strip will now go away in the top. The top yellow strip is going away. I know log on and log in. And when this in a, in a, in a what happens in a, a sandbox page? Do not do any what happens any setups or transactions with it. Now we go there and click on it, and then we'll now go on and have a look at it. Now, fine. Go to the what's called procurement, and then go to the purchase requisition. Now there are four entries now. Fine. If you click on it now, only three entries are coming. Fine. The request non catalog request is no more coming at all, not visible at all. And remember, this is common for all the users actually. I'm going to click on log out now. Fine. I'm in PRZ12. So sign out now. Fine. <clears throat> and then if you go to anything, what happens? It'll be click on it. And then I will not change it to 15 now. <clears throat> 15. And then click on sign in now. So for all the users, this change is common actually. I will now go to the procurement. So you go to the purchase requisitions now. Fine. Click on the purchase requisitions, <clears throat> and then click on the more task. Fine. Go there. So enter requisition line is there. Fine. Request new supplier is there. Fine. Update prepare. Only thing is that particular order is now having four entries because it's now having a bigger role actually because of it is now having. But request non catalog is basically grayed out. Fine. Request non catalog item is not coming at all. And that particular one which has been grayed out will be uh, grayed out for every user actually. And that's it on this now. Fine. So this is the way by which what happens, you can customize the page and then you can now what happens, do anything, any changes on this. Fine. Back on out.